You see you have this nice flow here coming in and then you have this soft spot, which is a little bit distracting. So I would actually take this away and would make sure that this is a continuous shape. So we have still this nice flow and then I would try to get away from creating a vignette. So having this round lens effect, you know, because I mean, this can work, but it it's not necessarily a nice thing because of course you can hide stuff, but you don't need to hide stuff when you know what to do. I think we spoke about that we want to show here a little bit more of this uh, membrane. And I think you started very well here on this, also adding these dark areas. But we need to make sure that this is not, again, competing too much with our focal point, which is here. But of course, we have a lot of contrast here already. When we look in black and white, we see that this here, the hands and the forearm and that is very, very dark. So, yeah. so first I would make sure that we reduce a little bit of the information we have here. So the further it goes away, the less information there should be, um, especially also for this. So we just go over that very simply. Also here, add a little bit more atmosphere. And also what we don't want is tangents, of course, right? We want either a very clear overlap or a very clear separation, but we don't want any tangents. I remember also when we spoke about the thumbnail first about this creator which creates human beings. I feel like this is already working much, much better. Um, so I'm very happy how this turned out. Focusing also that this also goes in perspective away from the camera. So we focus more on this cr um, strong uh, for sh foreshortening, which we already have here with the arms, right? So we make sure that maybe taking this a little bit off uh, a little bit away here and we still can have these but we just want to push it further away so we get more depth into the image and still we are looking out here for the nice shapes the nice flow of things through the image also it's it's cool the noise you created here we have a lot of noise here already with this this is a cool effect by the way a um, good job on this but um, this stuff here and this stuff here is again distracting. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. imagine the, this is the focal point. So we draw a circle around our focal point. And then actually our second focal point is the environment itself. And we said from the beginning, the idea is that we want to communicate this membrane in the foreground, right? So all that we just focus then is having the hierarchy of detail. So highest detail, first focal point, second detail, second focal point. And everything which comes after is even less detail. Foreground element, it's like this arm, and I also want to put details into it. It's really hard considering you're whole not losing it into like 10 hours, which is like the smallest details. And, yeah, yes, know. of course. It's also very tempting to make everything detailed. But as yeah. you know, if we detail everything, nothing is basically detailed uh, because then we have stuff everywhere and it's just distracting us from the important thing. And that's your, your job is to manipulate and lead the eye through the image and tell a story in your image. So that's why we need to be aware of what we are doing with all this detail and noise. I mean, we can basically clutter this image full with detail and make it work at some point, but this is not a nice way of storytelling. We want to make sure, okay, the viewer is looking at the spot we want. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. If you also want to get mentored by me, make sure to check out my website, janoschmenesart.zone and apply for the mentorship. Otherwise, see you in the next video. Take care, ciao, ciao.